What's up, sports bettors? It's Matt Modai with Odds Jam, and there's uh, two promos on DraftKings specifically for the NBA Finals tonight that I really like. Uh, so I wanted to place a bet for each one. One is a risk-free same-game parlay, which is pretty nice. It's uh, it's pretty easy to understand. You place a same-game parlay, minimum three legs, and if any of those legs loses, you can get a free bet up to ten dollars. So I will be finding a positive EV same-game parlay using Odds Jam. And they also have this one, NBA Finals Early Win, which I think is great. Basically, the way it works is if you bet on the money line of either the Celtics or the Warriors, and at any point in the game, the team you bet on leads by 10 points, uh, you will get your money back even if they lose the game. So it's a really cool promo here. Uh, so this one, I'm going to opt in. And I'm going to take, I'm going to go chalk. I'm just going to take the Warriors money line. Um, you know, the Celtics, I could see this being a scenario in which they uh, they struggle in game one against the Warriors. Um, the Warriors, they play such a different brand of basketball than what the Celtics are used to. Uh, the three teams they played the Celtics in the postseason, mostly just mismatch hunt. The, uh, the Nets don't really run much offense at all. It's mostly just KD and Kyrie uh, just solo um, trying to beat their man off the dribble or some type of iso ball. The Bucks, uh, it's again mostly just getting a favorable switch onto Giannis, letting him go to work. And then the Heat did the same thing with Jimmy Butler. Uh, there was some movement with the Heat shooters, like Max Struess, Duncan Robinson even got in there for a little bit. Tyler Hero is a little bit of their wild card, but obviously he missed the last three games with the groin injury. And when he came back in game seven, he wasn't quite there. Uh, and the Warriors just play a completely different style of basketball than any team uh, pretty much in the entire NBA, and especially what the Celtics are used to. Um, so for this game one, I think the Warriors are going to win. And I think there's a much a much higher likelihood of the Warriors getting to a 10-point lead and possibly blowing it than the Warriors having a 10-point lead at all in the game. So normally for these uh, bets, I like to go with the plus money. But for this one, I'm just sticking with the Warriors money line. And they'll refund up to $500. So that is exactly what I'm going to put on this one. I'm going to put 500 on the Warriors money line at minus 165. And we're good to go there. So that bet has been locked in. Now I just want to make sure to add that to uh, my odds jam bet tracker. Warriors money line minus 165. Uh, this is specifically for the promo because again, if they get a 10 point lead at any point in time, um, you get your money back. And I could see the Warriors getting out to a quick 10 point lead in the first half. And then I'm sitting pretty knowing that uh, I'll at least get my money back. Now the same game parlay, uh, the promo there, that one uh, requires a little bit more detail, a little bit a little bit more thought. So let me opt into this one as well. Um, the way I go about finding uh, same game parlays that have positive expected value, uh, there's two ways. Number one, I like to use the Odds Jam positive EV page. So this is a situation in which it provides only examples in which we are getting positive expected value bets. And then I just see if there's any specific game for the Warriors that has an EV play on DraftKings. And it looks like there's one right here. Wiggins to go under 16 and a half points. So I'll add that to my same game parlay. Uh, added right there, Warrior, or Wiggins under 16 and a half Looks like there is a Robert Williams turnovers, but I don't believe turnovers is part of a same game parlay. It's not. And then there's also one Marcus Smart to go over 24 and a half points, rebounds, assists. So I will go ahead and add that to my same game parlay as well. We're looking at Marcus Smart points, rebounds, assists. Let me just search his name. There's points and rebounds. I need points, rebounds, assists. So the over was over 24 and a half. So this would be 25 plus. Perfect. So that's my second leg. So those are the first two legs I found directly from the Odds Jam positive EV page. Now, um, because let's see if there's, uh, oh, so the play was, on, was Steph Curry over, not Steph Curry under. And that was not on DraftKings. So now that I have placed, uh, I placed two legs directly from the Odds Jam Positive EV page. The next thing I like to do, I like to just go through each of the different markets and see if DraftKings has the best odds um, depending on the play. So um, if I scroll down, it looks like this the Warriors spread is roughly three, three and a half. 
Uh, I basically just scroll until I find the best odds on DraftKings. So it looks like the Warriors minus seven is a good play to take on DraftKings. Um, I actually like that a lot. I have the Warriors money line, as you saw me take earlier. Might as well uh, really go big for these risk-free same-game parlays. I like to make the odds pretty uh, pretty high in my favor. I don't like to just do a safe one because it's risk-free. And if it loses, I can just convert those 10 bucks into real cash. Um, I like to have some, some pretty juicy plays. So getting this uh, at plus 950 odds, I do think is a pretty good one. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this in. 10 bucks to win 105. Uh, Andrew Wiggins to go under 16 and a half points. Marcus Smart to go over uh, 24 and a half points, rebounds, assists. And then the Warriors minus six and a half is going to be my same game parlay. Uh, so if you're if you do have DraftKings, I would definitely recommend taking advantage of both of these promos. Uh, you can you can tail my same game parlay. You can also tail me on the or the, excuse me the Warriors money line. And if at any point they have a ten point lead, you get your money back. I think that's an awesome awesome promo. So if you are tailing, I would love to hear it. Uh, you can hit me up at my Twitter handle that you see on the screen here. You can also comment on the video. Let me know you're tailing that way. Other than that, would appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel. But as far as this video goes, that is all I got for you. So thanks for watching and have a good one.